this morning in the Caribbean as we start our nine minutes of nonstop news. Hurricane Irma is deadly and very destructive at this point. It's into the Dominican Republic and even through parts of Haiti. Images show just how strong this storm has been, flattening entire islands in the Caribbean. CNN right now is reporting the latest death toll right around 10. They also mentioned that one of the 10 dead is a small child. Officials say 23 people are hurt on the French island territories like St. Martin and St. Bart's. Now, it has unleashed winds of up to speeds of 185 miles an hour. The storm pulled away from Puerto Rico overnight. We're now going to speak with Paula Suro, who has family in Puerto Rico. And, and Paula, you were born in Puerto Rico. You've got family there. You've been speaking to them. What, uh, what are they telling you about the damage there? Well, yes, Catherine, I've got my grandparents, my aunt and my cousin. They're all in Puerto Rico. Um, they're all in different parts of the island, but my grandparents and my aunt, they're both at the northern end of the island where it's getting hit, where it got hit the most. Um, they are OK. Thank you for asking. Um, they did lose power early on about 3 p.m. when the hurricane really started hitting the island and my cousin had power until about 11 p.m. at night. Um, he did lose it uh, uh, at around 1130, but um, again, they're doing fine. Uh, they have water, which is something that's been very important to them as well. Um, the question now is when power will come back on. Uh, we have read and we've heard from officials in Puerto Rico saying it might be months. So that's what's scary. Yeah, the devastation there. Paolo, well, that's the time we have right now. We appreciate it, the update, and you know, Thank thinking you. of you and your family and everyone that's Thank in you. the path of this storm right now. I'm glad they're safe, but mm -hmm. man, months without power, that's gonna be, be rough. Tough. It'd be tough. Let's take a look at